In this video, we're going to look at some quick worked examples of ordering fractions, decimals and percentages. To begin with, we're going to look at ordering them individually and then later on we will look at ordering them when we have a collection of fractions, decimals and percentages. Let's start off with decimals. We might be asked to order a range of different decimals. So let's say we've got 2.45, let's say we've got 20.41, We've got 0 0.245, we've got 0 0.2221, we've got 0 0.00789, and then we have 2.014. What we're going to do is look at ordering these in ascending order, so from smallest to largest. One easy way to do it is to put decimal places down the page and fill in a place value chart or a hundreds, tens and units chart. So if we look at 2.45, we have two units, we have four tenths and five hundredths. If we look at 20.41, we've got two tens, zero units, four tenths and then we're going to have one one hundredth. On this one, we're going to have zero units, we're going to have two tenths, four hundredths and then five thousandths. This one here we're going to have zero, so that's in the units column, two in the tenths, two in the one hundredths, two in the thousandths and one in the ten thousandths. If we look at the next one we've got now zero, zero, zero and then we have seven, eight, nine. Finally, we have 2.014, so 2 in the units, 0 in the tenths, 1 in the one hundredths, and 4 in the thousands. A common misconception is that the more numbers, the bigger the value of the number. If you want at this stage, you can go ahead and fill out zeros. It's entirely up to you. So, for example, if you wanted to fill out zeros in the tens column, you could do that. What we're going to do is look at ordering these from smallest to largest. Clearly, all of the values but the second one have now a zero in the tens column. So, we can see clearly this will be the largest. What we now need to do is move to the second column, which are the units, and look for the smallest values. We can see that's going to come now from one of these three, as we got 2.45 and 2.014. So we look here and we go across, we got 0, 0, 0, 0. So we need to now look at the third column. The third column are the tenths. We can see that out of these three, this is the smallest value as we have a 0 in it. So this now is going to be the smallest value. So if we wanted, we could go ahead and just now put a faint line through this. So that one now is the smallest. We now go back to the two that we were just looking at and we want now the smallest from these two. So they've got the same zero in both the tens, the units, they've both got a two in the tenths, but this one right here is larger in the hundredths column, so this is going to be the second smallest. So we could write now that that's going to be the second smallest, and then we can go ahead and put a line through it. Based on that, we know then that this must be the third one, as we were just comparing those two. So this is going to be the third smallest. We now look, we've got 0, 2, 2, 0, 0, 2. So it's going to be out of the top and the bottom one. So they're the same in the tens, they're the same in the units. If we now look at the tenths, we can see now that the 0 is smaller than the 4. So this is going to be the fourth smallest. And we can just draw a line through that. Again, do this in pencil if you're doing it yourself in case you make a mistake. This, therefore, must now be the next one, and we can write this down. So this is going to be the fifth, and then this is going to be the largest. Sometimes you'll be expected to write them out, or you can just give them a number. So we've put those in order from smallest to largest. Often you'll hear that being called ascending order. Ascending means it's getting larger. Descending is the opposite. That means it's getting smaller. Okay, so that's ordering decimals. Ordering percentages is very similar. All we're considering now is that the highest percentage is going to be 100%. So 
So for example, if we had 3.75%, we had 30.2%, we had 16.934%, and we had, for example, 72.16%. We would simply now list them out and using a similar method, consider now which has the highest value in the tens, then the units, then the temps, and so on and so forth. So if you want to put those in, you can do. Okay, let's now look at ordering fractions. If we have now fractions with common denominators, this is really quite straightforward. So if we had 1 over 7, we had 3 over 7, we had 2 over 7, 5 over 7, and then now 6 over 7, we would just look at the value of the numerator. So we can see that this would be the smallest, this would be the second smallest, we would then have the third smallest, the fourth smallest, and then the largest, as we've got a common denominator. Sometimes we won't have that. So let's look at an example where we don't have that. We're going to order these. One third, we're going to have one over six, we're going to have now three over four, and we're going to have seven over 12. If we have this scenario, we look to get a common denominator. The lowest common multiple, or the first number that 3, 6, 4 and 12 go into, will be 12. So what I'm going to do is convert all of these into 12s. If I want to convert this into 12s, I need to multiply the numerator and the denominator by 4, and that will give me 4 12s. So we're simply getting equivalent fractions. This one right here, I'm going to have now 2 multiplied by the numerator and the denominator to give me 2 twelfths. I need to multiply this one now by 3. That would give me 9 twelfths as an equivalent fraction. So all I'm doing is multiplying the numerator and denominator to get this now into twelfths. We now have 7 twelfths. At this stage, we simply go back and we can put these now in order. So the smallest is going to be 2 twelfths. Then we're going to have 4 twelfths, we will have 7 twelfths, and finally 9 twelfths. We need to write them back as they were, so the 2 twelfths is going to be the 1 over 6, that is the smallest. The 4 twelfths is the 1 over 3. The 7 twelfths is the 7 twelfths, and finally the 9 twelfths is 3 quarters. So in ascending order, smallest to largest, our fractions are now ordered. So that's look at looking at ordering fractions when the denominators are different. Let's now look at an example where we're asked to order a range of fractions, decimals and percentages. So let's have a look and let's say we've got now 0 0.25, we've got 36%, we have 1 fifth, we've got now 1, and let's go for 1 over... Uh, let's go for 1 over 8, and let's now have 3.64%. What we can do now is look to convert these either into fractions, into decimals, or into percentages. I personally think it's easier to convert them all into decimals. So if we look here, we've got 0 0.25. As a decimal, 36% will be 0 0.36. One fifth is going to be 0 0.2, or if you like, 0 0.20. One over eight is half of a quarter, which is going to give me 0 0.125. And then finally, we need to be a bit careful with this one. This is going to be 0 0.0364. So this is quite a tough selection. We know that 36% is 0 0.36. To get a decimal, we divide by 100. So all I need to do now is put these in order. If you want, you can go back to using a decimal, or you can simply do it by observation. So if you want to put these in, you can go ahead and do that. So the first one, 0 0.25. The next one, 0 0.36. The next one, 0 0.2, or if you like, 0 0.20, 0 0.125, 
and then find me 0 0.0364. Sometimes you might get a number that's going to be greater than 1. All we would do is simply put it in this column as a 1. So if we look down, we can see clearly this is going to be the smallest. They all have a value of 0, but this one right here has a value of 0 now in the, the temps column. If we now look, the next one is going to be the 0 0.125. If we now look, we've got a choice of 0 0.25 or 0 0.20. 0 0.20 is smaller, so we're going to have now the third smallest, the fourth smallest, and then the largest. So all we have to do now is go back and just write these in, and these are going to be now relative to what we had before. So this is going to be the fourth, we're going to have now 0 0.6, that's going to be the fifth, so we're in ascending order, smallest to largest. Then we're going to have now the third one, which is the 0 0.2, which is one fifth. Then we're going to have now the second one, and then finally the first one. So this is the smallest, the second smallest, the third smallest, the fourth smallest, and now the largest. So that's one way that we can now compare the size of fractions, decimals, and percentages. I simply converted them all into decimals and then looked at which is the smallest and which is the largest and listed them out in ascending order. You don't have to do that, but uh, converting these up might be slightly trickier to go into fractions and uh, percentages or percentages.